Welcome back again, everyone. Uh, we're going to continue today by looking at another kind of tremolo circuit. This time we're looking at what's called an optical tremolo. And we'll talk a little bit more about what exactly they mean when they say optical tremolo um, as we get into it. First though, the circuit we're going to be looking at today is called the shoot the moon tremolo, which is a really great circuit that's been around in the uh, in the DIY world for a little while, Forrest Whitesides, um, who goes by the handle Culture Jam on the Free Stomp Boxes forum, is uh, the guy who is responsible for this creation. And we're actually going to start um, looking at the power section real quick, just because there's something here that I think we haven't really seen in too many past schematics, and it'll just kind of help clear something up. So our 9 volts comes in here. And then we see that we have these two weird symbols here that are just labeled 8, 4, and ground. Now what those symbols are, are symbols for the power pins of the op amps. We have two dual op amps here, and each one of them has a power supply pin and a ground pin. Okay, So um, that's what those symbols there are for. Also in this power supply section, we have our filter cap, we have a polarity protection diode, we have our voltage reference that's being created here for biasing our op amps. Um, so it's just a voltage divider that cuts our voltage in half and then we have a filter capacitor there. And then finally, we have a 100 ohm resistor and a 47 ohm capacitor. This creates a um, this creates a low pass filter for our DC voltage to provide even cleaner power to our audio op amp. Okay, so that we don't have as much um, noise on our power signal there. So. Now we're going to get into this. Our input signal comes in right down here. And this is a very simple audio path. The entire audio path is this right here. And you'll notice that it is just two op amp gain stages. That's all it is. Okay. And the thing that makes these two op amp gain stages special is going to be this thing right here that is labeled LDR1 and we'll talk to that when we can talk about that when we come to it but first we come in we have our pull down resistor we have our DC blocking capacitor and then this section right here is a very simple inverting op amp buffer it is 220k and 220k which means it's unity gain we are biasing the positive terminal at one half supply voltage so that our audio signal rides in the middle of the supply rails for the op amp so that we don't clip anything. So just really, really basic. Then we have another op amp gain stage right here. And this again is an inverting op amp stage so that the output will be in phase with our input. But the other great thing about an inverting op amp gain stage is that an inverting stage can have a gain factor of less than one. A non-inverting op amp stage will always have a gain of at least one, but, not, but inverting, you can go to a gain of zero. And the gain is determined by the ratio of our feedback resistor and our input resistor. And so, the way that this tremolo works is that this LDR, which stands for light dependent resistor, is going to be um, one of our resistors governing the gain of this op amp stage. But the thing is that this LDR does not exist in isolation. The way an optical tremolo works is that you use, you use an LED in conjunction with an LDR to create a variable resistance. 
So if you remember with the bias tremolo, we were actually using a JFET as a variable resistance element to change the bias of the transistor. Now we're using an optical element that works as a variable resistor to change the gain of, a, of an op amp stage. Okay, And this is accomplished by use of our LFO up here. Now this LFO is more complicated than anything we've seen so far and that is because this setup allows us to change the shape of the LFO. This LFO actually um, allows us to have a square wave at all the way to one side of the shape potentiometer and it's more of a triangle wave but not a perfect triangle on the other side and you can kind of blend them together okay so the way that um, some of these op amps work is you use what's called a a Schmidt trigger and an integrator and the way that that works is that essentially you create a square pulse at some rate that is determined by this resistance here and then you integrate it using a capacitor to smooth it to integrate just means to smooth it and then you buffer the output so here we are feeding the positive terminal with one half of our supply voltage then we've got this kind of complicated dual parallel feedback loops going on here and all this is doing is creating a square wave that this capacitor then smooths and because we have a square wave out here which is being fed by here which is being fed by here and because an op amp is always trying to keep the input and output terminals the same voltage so we actually have a square signal right here which if we follow this line down comes and feeds one side of this pot and the smoothed or integrated triangle-ish shape comes in and feeds the other side and that determines what gets fed into this unity gain buffer stage okay so this LFO has some fun tricks in that we can not only adjust the speed but also the shape of the LFO so you can get the square wave will give you the really percussive choppy tremolo and the triangle will give you a little smoother of a tremolo sound then uh, on the output we can actually use the output here to drive an LED this is a rate indicator LED that blinks in time with the LFO to tell so that you can see at a glance how fast you're going and then we also come up through this potentiometer here which will either well so depending on how this pot is set we might take more of our DC voltage which would keep the LED just at a static brightness or if we turn it all the way this way then we get more of the pulsating voltage which is going to cause our LED to get brighter and dimmer in time with the LFO so the way to make the magic all happen then is that you actually put this this LED and this LDR pointing right at each other in fact you'll frequently see people put heat shrink tubing over these two components together and that makes essentially what is called a Vactrol which is you have an LED on one side and an LDR on the other so that you can actually isolate this signal from this signal. For example, if we had a digital LFO, there would be lots of really high frequency hash that could potentially get into the audio path if we didn't have some way of isolating them. And going through an LED and into an LDR is a way to isolate it because the LED isn't going to blink at, you know, 10 megahertz or whatever. And so it essentially acts as a low pass filter of our LFO signals so that we only get nice clean LFO changing the resistance here.
So hopefully that makes sense. The, the big concept here is that it's called an optical tremolo because we have the optical elements of an LED and an LDR that are responsible for changing the gain of this op amp stage. And that gives us the amplitude modulation or the amplitude of our signal going down and then back up over and over again that gives us the tremolo sound. So we've seen not only these optical elements, but also a new, more complicated um, LFO that gives you the opportunity to change the shape somewhat. And we've also looked at these newer symbols that are just the op amp power supply pins. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it was useful for you. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.